Today we're going to talk about a very good Blender environment course using TrimSheets. This is a completely comprehensive course from two great Blender artists covering everything you need to know about how TrimSheets work. In addition to how to implement them to create fantastic game environments using the methods used in big budget projects. In my opinion, what this course offers is way more than you are going to pay for because it includes a ton of valuable resources, information, and excellent training. It is great for aspiring game artists, environment artists, and general 3D artists, in addition to sci-fi hard surface artists in general, even if they are beginners. Since this course is about trim sheets, you need to know at least what they are. Basically, there are flat planes with a ton of different details in them. This proves to be very important, especially for game development artists, because this allows them to create very complex looking characters, vehicles, or environments without having to add a ton of geometry each time they want to add details. In this course, you will get six ready to use trim sheets, which alone cost more than the value of the course. In addition to that, the instructors on this course will show you how to create your own trim sheets to be able to use them on your projects during different stages of production. Using these trim sheets in your projects, you will be able to save yourself a lot of time, resources, and money. And the great thing is, it looks just as great as if you modeled everything using millions of polygons. This is not just a technique that solo artists use to save time and resources, because it is a common practice nowadays in AAA video game projects made by the top game studios such as Doom Eternal and Call of Duty for example. They don't use them a bit here and there. Actually, they are heavily used and they use them everywhere because they are that good. I am a big fan of playing video games just for the sake of looking at art that game artists put into the game, especially when it comes to environments that people walk through without paying attention to the details. Also, if you want to get the most out of this course, it is a good thing if you have some hard surface add-ons for Blender, and those are Decal Machine and Hard Ops. These add-ons will help you model faster, but you still can use the Blender Vanilla tools to get the same results, but it will take longer, of course. Actually, the instructors will help you with both methods, with add-ons and without them, so you don't have to worry about that. Personally, I believe that using an add-on such as Decal Machine to create and apply these trim sheets is just so much worth it because it is going to save you a ton of time and effort. In addition to that, there isn't a lot of good training out there about how to use Decal Machine trim sheets like these guys do it. They collected all different and necessary techniques related to using trim sheets in one place, and they explain it easily step by step, and it is just great. After you learn how to create cool game environments in Blender, the instructors will show you how to export your projects to the Unreal Engine, while showing all the necessary techniques and knowledge throughout the process. So what you will get for your money includes 6 trim sheets, learning how to model and design trim sheets, full environment design, plus a modeling tutorial. Also, you will learn how to create environment texture in using trim sheets, and this is probably the most important part of the course. In addition to that, you will learn vanilla trim sheet workflows without add-ons, in addition to decal machine trim sheet workflow, which is extremely good for efficiency, and quicksol mixer trim sheet texturing. And of course, you will learn other things as well. If you are interested in how the game asset pipeline works, environment design, or you simply want to save a lot of time generating amazing results, then this course is definitely for you. And you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can add it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.